Uh, in this example, guys, we have a, an equation that's in general form. So again, this is our general form. We want it to look like our form over there, which is in our standard form, right? So we recognize here this has no binomial squared. We want binomial squared. So when we have x's and y's, what we're going to want to do to create our binomial squared is obviously complete the square. But we can only complete the square when our terms are kind of collected the same. So I'm going to group the x's, and I'm going to group the y's. And then we can just throw the constant to the other side. All right, so I'm going to want to complete the square with the x's and complete the square with the y's. But you notice I only have a quadratic term and the linear term. To complete the square, I've got to find the value c that makes it a perfect square trinomial. So I'm going to do my b divided by 2 squared for each x and y. So in this one, it's negative 2 divided by 2 squared, which is 1. And here, it's positive 2 divided by 2 squared, which equals 1. So I'm going to add a 1 into both of those parentheses. So I have an x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now again, you just can't add a 1, right? If you add a 1 to the left side, then you're going to have to add a 1 to the other side. Other side. And then here, I do a 2y squared plus 2y plus 1. But again, I'm adding another 1, so I have to add a 1 over here. Now I have successfully created two perfect square trinomials, which can be very quickly factored down to binomial squared, which is x minus 1 squared times y plus 1 squared equals 4. And now you guys can see that this is in our standard form, where my vertex is, remember the formula is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So my vertex is 1, or my sorry, my center is 1, negative 1, right? Because it's the opposite there. And then my r squared with a radius of 2, right? Because it's r squared, so, so r is your radius, which is the square root of that, which is 2. All right. OK, that was the hard one.